Don't go. Brittany Joho Jifkados. My name is Brittany Cuevas. I'm the Muscogee Creek in Quapaw Nations. Today I will be teaching you how to make a Southeastern Tribes double wall basket. And this is what we're going to make. So why is it a double wall basket? Let me show you the single wall. This is the single wall. The single wall, we start from the beginning and go up and we finish. The double wall, we start from the beginning, we go up and then we come back down for the second wall. It creates more stability for if you were to put seeds inside of these and they fall over, it's more stable. Let's begin. You will need, I am using number two round reed for teaching purposes. You will need scissors and water, of course. Let's get started. For the double wall basket, you will need 12 of your reeds cut to the same length. I used approximately 24 inches this time. And so what I do is I bend them, make the ends touch, and then I grab the opposite side, let go. Um, my center, separate six and six. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six and six, pinch them flat. Next, you want to cross them. At this point, you want the top part to be vertical and the one behind, the six behind, to be horizontal. And hold with your left hand and your thumb. Next, we begin weaving. So grab a weaver. It'll just be a really long rock long read. I'm going to use the color for teaching purposes. We're going to start in the upper left quadrant to the bottom right quadrant and you're going to make a diagonal. Diagonal and then just pinch it with your thumb. So you hold it there. Now we begin weaving. You're going to go under, behind, and up and physically bend your weaver behind up this right arm. Behind up. Now you're in the top right quadrant. Over left. Now you gotta switch your fingers to the other side. You want your weaver to go over your beginning weaver and now it forms a tail. So you went over, now under is six, below and down and back to the right over and we completed the first circle. We will repeat this step four more times. One, two, under six, over six, under six, over six, three, four, and five. <clears throat> so we're back to the bottom right quadrant. And this is where we start a new weave. You will start with the right arm, under three, over three, and you're just separating. You always start under, under three, over three. And we continue, but from here on, we are going to turn these into twos. So right now we have four arms and we're gonna turn them into 11 arms total. So your first one's three under, three over, two under, two over, two under, your tail, you could just weave it in now. Under, go to this arm, you go over to, 
under 2 over 2. That one's over, so we go under 2. over 2, under 2, and we're back at the beginning again. So the next couple of rounds will feel kind of funny because we are bending up and down. So it's going to feel a little wavy. You continue and it'll smooth out. So this one's an under, continue to an over. So your weave will always be the opposite from here on. Under, over, under, over, under. Separate your twos. Under, over, under, over, under, over. And yes, I say under and over a lot because you can lose your place. Over, under, over, under, over. So you will continue weaving until you run out of your weaver is this. When you run out, we add a new weaver. Let's do that. All right. When we add a new weaver, <clears throat> we want to continue where we left off, start as an under, for the double wall basket, you want the outside to look continuous, like it has no beginning and no end, even on the inside. So where do we add all the weavers? Inside the walls this time. There's X right there. And you can see better on this one. We crossed them on the inside. Okay, <clears throat> so if you can see, there's a little X there. This one's over. This will be under, so this will be over. You just hold your thumb there in place until you come all the ways around. And it will lock it in. You don't have to worry about it no more. Continue weaving. Now you're going to add as many weavers as you need until you get your desired height. Which I have one right here. I weaved all the ways up to here. This is a good turning point. So with all these X's, let's trim them. That's where your scissors come in. I'm going to trim them. Okay. <clears throat> and that last one, I just tucked in on the side of an arm. Okay, so from here... We are going to get, bring down the second wall. This is your first wall. We're going to do the second wall. This is kind of what we're doing. We're making the brim, the top, and going back down. All right, so you could just pick an arm, and you're going to take it and go behind and down, and you're going to hold it with your thumb. Take this arm behind and down. Hold it with your thumb. You're going to continue this all the ways around. Behind, down, behind, down, behind, down, behind, down, behind, down, behind, down. Mm -hmm. All right, the last arm. Your arm, you're going to take it from the inside out. Your first inside and just pull it. Now that locks it in as well. You could let go of the rest. So from here, it's kind of loose, so I just push them down. 
even push them down on your flat surface. All right, so from here, we're halfway done, and we are going to begin the second wall. Okay, so take your weaver. I just tuck it in on the side of one of the arms, so I'm not yanking it out. And like we did in the beginning, you start under two, or you start under. Under, over, under, over, and continue weaving. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Until you run out of your weaver. We ended here. So next you will add another weaver, but this time the crosses, the X's, we're going to hide them on the inside. So this one's over, this one's under, and continue. Until you come all the ways around and it secures it. So continue weaving till you get to your length, which would be to cover the bottom of your basket. You want to hide the bottom. So we will weave, you will weave about right there. Okay, let's move on. This is it. Continued weaving. So we cover up the bottom of the basket. Now we're stuck with a, some of these long, long arms. We're going to trim them, but again, we can't trim them too short because you want need the arm to tuck behind here. So it needs to be able to reach about here. So this gives you about your length you want. I'm going to cut right here. Okay, now we are doing the bottom. We are kind of doing it like the top, but opposite. We are going to take our arm, you go in front and tuck, in front and tuck, and it just tucks in there. Your arm in front and tuck, front and tuck, in front and tuck. In front, tuck, front, tuck, in front, and tuck, front, tuck. And we're down to our last one. We take this one and we go on the outside, poke through your first hole to the inside. And then if you see anything sticking out, just put them back in. And then shape it. You want to get it wet. Shape your basket. Put it on a flat surface. Mold it. And you are finished with your double wall basket. Mudo! Hitli mahi!